Hey guys, welcome back to another Android video from Coding Stuff. And in this video, we're gonna learn how we can change the Google Map type. And in the previous video, we set up the Google Map. Uh, we integrated Google Map in Android Studio. So in case if you haven't watched that video and want to learn how we can implement Google Map in Android, then you can check out my previous video. Uh, the link is in the i button and also in the description box. So let's have a look at what we will be creating in this video. So as you can see, uh, we have this Google map and we have this radio buttons. So we have normal as already selected. And now if I click on the satellite, this map will be changed uh, into the satellite mode. And if I click on the hybrid, the map will be changed to hybrid mode. And also we have the terrain. So if I click on the terrain, this map will be changed to terrain. All right. So let's implement this. All right. So in the previous video, we have reached Till here uh, we implemented the on map ready callback and we got one function which is on map ready and this will be invoked when the map is inflated successfully on our layout cool so what I will do now I'll go to the activity main and here uh, we will have one radio group so okay uh, before that we'll have one material card view so material card view I'll give it width and height as a wrap content and I'll use card use compact padding I'll make it true. We'll provide some elevation. So elevation to let's say 4 dp. And then I'll provide a card color. So card background color. This will be white. And card stroke color. I guess it is a stroke color. So let's just write stroke color. And I'll provide a null here. So I don't want any stroke. Cool. And then we can just constraint it. So it just have constraint bottom to bottom of parent and start to start of parent. Cool. And then we can add one radio group here. So radio group. I'll give it width and height as a wrap content to it. So wrap content and wrap content. And then I'll give it some padding. So padding horizontal. Uh, let's give it a 12 dp and padding vertical. Let's give it 12 dp and let's just uh, increase the padding horizontal. So 24 dp. Cool. And we can give it an ID. So ID will be let's give it a radio group. radio group cool then okay we need to write plus here so plus cool so then we'll have some radio buttons over here so radio button wrap content and wrap content let's just provide some text here so text will be normal text color will be black so text color will be black you can style it the way you want and we'll also give it a tint to the button so button tint it will be black as well and we need to write app here instead of android we'll give it an id so id will be normal button so normal button cool and then I'll just uh, copy this. I'll paste it few times. So one, two and three as we have four types. So normal and then we'll have satellite. So satellite. And then we'll have the hybrid. So hybrid and this will be hybrid. And then lastly, we'll have the terrain. So terrain. And this will be terrain. Cool. So we got our card view here and cool. So this looks fine to me and you can style it the way you want. Uh, I'll just 
increase the padding or uh, sorry elevations i'll make it 8 dp cool so this looks fine to me and you can style it uh, however you want so now uh, we'll jump to the main activity and here what i will do first of all i'll create one uh, late init var at the top so private late init var for our radio group so radio group and this will be of type radio group cool and then you can just find its id over here so radio group equals to find your id r dot id dot radio group cool and don't worry about this error uh, this will be fixed when we run our application so now i'll attach one listener to this radio group so radio group dot set on check change listener cool this one and you get uh, two parameters here so i'll use the lambda first will be the radio group and we don't want the radio group and then we get the item id so item id this will be of type int cool and this will be happy so i'll use one when block here in which uh, we will compare the item id so when item id is r dot id dot uh, normal button i'll just copy it few times or paste it few times cool and this will be satellite this will be hybrid and this will be terrain cool so we want to change the type of this map so how do we change the type of the map uh, we'll do it over here so map question mark dot map type we have one function which is map type and this will be equals to google map dot map type normal so this will be normal initially and we'll also make our normal as a checked initially so checked we'll make it true so it will be checked by default and by default our map will be map type normal cool and then i'll copy it i'll paste it over here but we don't have map over here right so what we can do we can create one variable at the top so private var map of type google map and this will be nullable so null and then we can just initialize it over here so map it will be equals to map uh, let's just have this as a reference here so this dot map equals to map cool and this will be happy then i'll copy this i'll paste it over here i'll paste it over here and i'll paste it over here so let's just change this map type to map type terrain so we got this five types of uh, map here my map type hybrid none terrain satellite and normal so none is basically nothing it represents nothing so we there is no use of using map type none you can try if you want to try and then we have map type hybrid and here we'll have map type satellite cool so this will work uh, let's just try to run the app and we'll see uh, this is working or not so our application is installed but uh, we can't see the layout of radio group over here okay i guess just made one mistake here so i'll just compress this and in the constraint layouts uh, we need to put it above the fragment container view yeah and now let's just try to run the app and we'll see this is working or not all right so now we got our radio group uh, visible all right so in the constraint layout uh, when we want to uh, put one layout above another layout and then in order to make it visible we need to put it uh, below that layout in the constraint so this will be on top of the fragment container view cool so let's just try to click on this satellite button and yeah as you can see the layout is changed and let's just click on the hybrid yeah we got this text and then just click on terrain cool so this is working and you can just uh, style this the way you want it's totally depends on the requirement so yeah uh, let's just go to the main activity again and there is another property which i want to talk about and i'll write map question mark dot ui settings and i'll make is niche home 
controls enable i'll make it true so equals to true let's just provide question mark over here as well and you will see plus minus button over here so let's just run the app so yeah as you can see uh, we got a plus minus button here in order to control the zoom so with minus you can zoom out and with plus you can zoom in so let's just go to the satellite view with minus you can zoom out and you can zoom in with this plus cool so there are multiple settings uh, that google map provides and in the next video we'll talk about uh, all of the ui settings that we should consider while implementing the google map in android all right so yeah that's it for this video stay tuned for the next one do subscribe thank you for watching